All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Harun was spoiled by his luxurious lifestyle. His wealth made him greedy and arrogant. Harun went out in adoration to his people. But what happened? Most people don't consider with his money came from a haram source or halal one. The majority ignore his arrogance, greed, and all the bad pride he possessed. However, they admired and invade his wealth and position. They all wanted to be just like him, even though he was the worst of his time. Something is wrong with their understanding of life. Something is wrong in their faith in the afterlife. Many people will also be jealous of those who inherit something material from the temporary worldly positions and not recognize spiritual wealth. People look at rich people with great respect and wish they were in their position. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فخرج على قومه في زينته قال الذين يريدون الحياة الدنيا يا ليت لنا مثل ما أوتي قارون إنه لذو حظ عظيم Everyone loves life, money and power. Anyone in their position would wish for the same. Is this something mentioned in the Quran? Sure, Al-Quran states about this that there are two kinds of people. Some of you desire life and the others desire the afterlife. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, مِنْكُمْ مَنْ يُرِيدُ الدُّنْيَا وَمِنْكُمْ مَنْ يُرِيدُ الْآخِرَةِ Many people work for worldly gain and to increase their wealth only. Others wish for the afterlife and work for it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ما عندكم ينفد وما عند الله باق. Hence they know that life is worthless and the inheritor of it will leave one day. Additionally, nothing will last forever and it doesn't equate to a wing of a fly. So who are the true inheritors we should be jealous of? We should strive hard to be among them. Are they the ones who inherited the palaces, skyscrapers and fancy cars? Are they the kings and the presidents and the rich people that people work hard to serve and please them? No, it's the righteous people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإن كل ذلك لما متاع الحياة الدنيا والآخرة عند ربك للمتقين. But all people love life and it's our nature and we should work hard as long as we don't do any haram or harm others. Yes, you are correct. However, these desires are in the nature of all humans. And if they are not controlled, we will see our lives consumed by temporary desires. And thus we should train ourselves and correct our goals. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Zuyina Linasi Hubbu Shahawati min al Nisa iwal Banina wal Kanatiri al Mukantarati min al Dhahabi. والفضة والخيل المسومة والأنعام والحرف ذلك متاع الحياة الدنيا والله عنده حسن المآل. So why did Allah subhanahu wa taala create life and prepare it for us? We should conduct our life with justice according to Allah's will, without being fooled and tricked by it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created life, adorned it, and prepared it for us. As such, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned us about its dangers. Working hard is good, but it can't become a goal. Money and fame shouldn't be the criterion of happiness and success. The, the most, most important, important thing is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Wamal Hayatu Dunya illa Mata'ul Gurur. The real inheritance to inherit paradise and the eternal joy of heaven. 
where no eyes, ears, or hearts have ever imagined. There is no way to compare life and afterlife. Surely the Quran is a good reminder that reminds us to wake up from our heedlessness. Would you mind to explain to us what the Quran says about the real inheritors? Every time you ask a good question, you surprise me. Let's find out who the real inheritors are. Al-Quran tells us about the secret of success in life and the afterlife. Al-Quran tells us how to be the inheritors of paradise. In the tafsir of Surah Al-Mu'minun, Al-Quran tells us about the secret of success. It says about the attributes of the believers. During prayer, praying humbly with concentration while reflecting on Allah's greatness with sincere heart and strive to avoid thoughts other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Additionally, they avoid all useless deeds and ill speech. With zakat, they purify their money by giving it to the needy, but they also purify their hearts by letting go of stinginess, greedness, and the love of life over Allah's commandments. The purification of money and hearts, they guard also their private parts and avoid haram relationships such as zina and only have relationships with their halal spouses. In addition, they fulfilled their promises. Never lie, cheat, or betray. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the signs of a hypocrite are three. Whenever he speaks, he tells a lie. Whenever he promises, he always breaks it. If you trust him, he proves to be dishonest. So the inheritors of paradise, their prayers are always on time. As Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Narrated Abdullah, I asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, which deed is the dearest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He replied, to offer the prayers at their early stated fixed times. I asked, what is the next? He replied, to be good and dutiful to your parents. I again asked, what is next? He replied, to participate in jihad, in Allah's causes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Bismillahir Rahman. الرحيم. قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون والذين هم للزكاة فاعلون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير ملومين فمن ابتغى وراء ذلك فأولئك هم العادون والذين هم لأماناتهم وعهدهم راعون والذين هم على صلواتهم يحافظون أولئك هم الوارثون الذين يرثون الفردوس هم فيها خالدون So if we do the above we will attain success and inherit the eternal happiness. We will be the inheritors of paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us true success and paradise. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.